Hello everyone, in this presentation we will be talking about the electric field. So basically what is electric field? The concept of electric field was first introduced by Michael, Michael Faraday. Michael Faraday and he stated that there is a region of influence around the charged particle where it exerts a force when another charge is introduced. So basically this region of influence is called the electric field. Electric field. And this region we and we show this region of influence by an imaginary lines called an electric field lines. So conventionally the electric field lines from a positive charge is moving away from the charged particle and for a negative charged particle it is entering to the charged particles by another charge we means a test charge a test charge let's say q naught which we will introduce in the source electric field let's say we have a positive source charge and electric field lines are leaving the surface of the electric charge and if we introduce this QNR test charge inside this electric field, so this field will exert a force on this charge. So we can say that electric field is a vector field. So electric field is a vector field, so it must have a strength, a strength as well as a direction. The force on the charge QNR is represent the strength of this electric field at this point and the direction of Q charge Q0 is showing the direction of this electric field. A single vector quantity which represents both the strength and the direction of the electric field at this specific, specific point is known as the electric field strength. Electric field strength. which is represented by E and is equal to force per unit charge and we call this equation as equation number one. So let's consider the unit charge has a charge of positive. If you want to find out the force of repulsion between these two charges then we are using the Coulomb's law which is equal to F is equal to K times Q naught Q which is a source charge divided by the distance square which is r square and this is the distance between the source charge and the unit charge so putting this equation into here so we get e is equals to k times q naught q divided by r square whole divided by q naught q naught will cancel q naught so it is, is equal to k q divided by r square so from this equation e is equals to k q divided by r square we concluded that the electric field strength is directly proportional to the source charge and inversely related to the distance between them but most of the time the source charge is constant so we relate this equation as a e is inversely proportional to the distance square which means that as we move Away this test charge from the source charge, the electric field intensity, the electric field intensity decreases. And this is the final equation of electric field intensity. To understand the electric field and electric field intensity, let me let consider the example in which a metallic sphere of diameter 13 cm carries a charge of 600 microcoulomb. Find the electric field intensity. Number A at a distance of 50 cm from the center of the sphere and at the surface of the sphere. So here we are required to find out the electric field intensity at a distance of 50 cm at the end at the surface of the sphere, which is having a diameter of 30 cm. Let consider a sphere with the diameter of 30 cm. So let's consider we have a sphere which has a charge of 600 microcoulomb with a diameter of 30 cm. So we need to find out the electric field intensity at point A, at point N, at point B. Point A is associated at the surface of the sphere and point B is associated 50 cm effort from the center of the sphere. 
So let's solve this problem in, in part A. Uh, given data are the distance is equals to 50 centimeter from the center of the sphere and the sphere having a charge of 60 hundred microcoulomb. And we know that the value of k is equal to 9 multiplies 10 raised to the power 9 newton meter square per coulomb square. So using this formula, we can find out the electric field intensity at point B, which is E is equals to k, k q divided by r square. So K, the value of k is equal to 9 multiplied 10 raised to the power 9 and the value of q here is 600 micro micro we can write at minus 6 and the distance square which is 550 centimeter to standard unit it becomes 50 multiplied 10 raised to the power minus 2 meter square after calculating this we can get 21 Point six multiplies 10 raised to the power 6 Newton per coulomb. So for point B, power of point B, which is we need to find out the electric field intensity at the surface of the sphere. So at the surface of the sphere, we have given a diameter of 30 centimeter and the surface charge is equals to 600 microcoulomb. So we need the radius of the sphere so so radius is equal to diameter divided by 2 diameter is given which is 30 centimeter and divided by 2 we have get 15 centimeter so by using the electric field intensity formula we get e is equals to k the value of k we know 9 multiplies 10 raised to the power 9 and the source charge is given which is 600 micro Coulomb and the distance is 15 centimeter. Writing down it in a SI unit system, in a standard unit, which 15 multiplies 10 raised to the power minus 2 square. So the answer is 24 multiplies 10 raised to the power 7 Newton per Coulomb. So here we describe a point that as we go away from the sphere. The electric field intensity decreases which is 21.6 as we bring near the point to the sphere the electric field intensity increases so it's all for today's lecture see you see you in the next one